Hey, it's Vinny, as you can tell by the V and the I on the screen. Sure, it's missing the rest, but you get the idea. This is the GTA 6 trailer. Uh, it would be fair to say that maybe this is one of the most anticipated games ever, and same for the trailer. It's been out for two hours, and uh, it's at 20 million views. Yeah, so people like this. Uh, they released it early because there was a leak, and they wanted to make sure people weren't watching it in terrible quality. So, anyway. Here it is. I have not seen this yet. Lucia. And they're using Tom Petty. Do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. Okay, good choice. It's Vice City, I think we knew that. Also the V and the I. Perfect. Wow. The way she thought it should be. Oh my god. <laughs> A small country made this game. Oh, there's Oh my god. Can you show that on YouTube? That was a dump truck. That was an alligator. That was what the Yep, Flor Florida man is in this game confirmed. Well, look who's back. And Florida woman. We're gonna get through this. Is by sticking together. That's just the main character. Oh, apparently there's two main characters. Yeah, that that was there were some leaks for this. I read a little bit. I, I didn't follow too much. Trust. Hey cousin, let's rob a bank, huh? It's me what though? I mean. Wow, Rockstar, look at that. It looks like a GTA game. Good for you, you did it. It's a GTA game. And before you say it's the first protagonist, the female protagonist in a GTA game, uh, apparently GTA 1 had several female playable characters, so just be aware of that. Uh, that's something I read on, on the internet. <laughs> I didn't play GTA 1. So yeah, I mean, visually it looks amazing. I see what appears to be ducks. Are those ducks? Maybe they're... Kind of waterfowl, I think. Uh, the game looks amazing. I would assume this is in engine because we've reached that point with games now. And uh, I love the way it looks. The the this game has probably been in development for probably a decade, you know, in various stages. And the fact that it's not launching at the very end of a console's lifespan, like GTA 5 did, is good. It's still mind blowing that this is something that actually. Um, you know, this, it's been this long. I mean, it's launching 2025, and it's just, you know, it feels like GTA came out 20 years ago, and also five years ago at the same time. GTA 5, that is. I mean, Vice City, there's ducks. Uh, it's a good setting for a GTA game. And, uh, I mean, yeah, there's, there's just a lot of graphics and a lot of uh, booties and things to look at. The, the visuals are striking. And, uh, yeah, I mean, here's another booty. Obviously, we're going to be seeing more of the club life, and we're going to be seeing even more of the social media angle. And, uh, I mean, just the density of, of the population. Now, I played GTA Vice City. I didn't finish it. But it is a really good game. It's a good setting. I was saying this on another stream, but it would be nice to have new environments, but this is too good of an opportunity to not have Vice City, especially with the Roman numeral. But also seeing what this looks like on modern hardware is just insane. Like that actually looks real. I mean, it's stylized real, but it looks unbelievably good. And, um,. Obviously, the money they made from them shark cards <laughs> is going to good assets here, as you can see. Good assets for this here video game. I mean, the Florida Man shit is perfect for the, um... Oh my god, this is working. Of course there is. The Florida Man shit is perfect for the goofiness of a GTA game. 
So, I mean, seeing the alligator in the convenience store is, is just like, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense. The, uh, the streaking dude at the gas station, whatever the fuck this guy's problem is, I have no idea. General Custard Cannon. Yeah, th this is, this is fucking nutty. Um, and these people are very interesting looking. As you can see here. But yeah, no, absolutely insane. Uh, not the people, I'm talking about the, um, the, the visuals and like the animations. And it's still almost a year and a half probably off from release. So, or maybe even two if it's going to release holiday season. It cures emotion. Yeah, that's, uh, that's about right. My worries are that, of course, Rockstar is not the same company it was many years ago. Rockstar is different people. A lot of the people that wrote the games that we, you know, grew up with are not there. So I'm wondering if they can pull it off. Visually, they pull it off. Um, also, I don't believe this is set anywhere in the past because we have, there's TikTok and there, there's twerking. I don't think twerking was invented until about six years ago. I'm kidding. Um, Tom Petty being in this trailer makes me so happy. I don't know how many of you know this. I, I have gotten really into Tom Petty recently. And um, he's one of my favorite songwriters. And I'm hoping that this song being in the trailer ends up um, getting a spike and people check out his music because he really was one of my favorites. He's one of the greats. Also, I noticed on um, Twitter, is that what it's called? GTA 7 is trending for some reason. So that's also very interesting. But yeah, um, what can I say? Uh, it's it's a GTA trailer. It looks like a GTA game. The, the visuals are incredible. Uh, this might be some of the most detailed city and slash environmental visuals I've ever seen. Clearly the protagonist is getting out of jail and uh, then you're just, you go and you hang out in Vice City. I'm a little bit partial to Liberty City because I live in New York, but it is, uh, yeah, the trifecta is now complete. The three big cities, and now GTA 7 can just cycle back to Liberty City. My history with GTA is GTA 3 was like kind of that mind-blowing moment on the PS2 that it was like a, a kind of a changing thing. Like you get that game and then everything was different. Um, it blew me away. I played it endlessly. I surfed cars. I r drove around the city a lot and uh, never finished it and then proceeded to do the same thing for every GTA game after that. So I'm excited to do the same for this. Uh, I wonder how much the focus will be on online versus single player or if they're going to be integrated so that you can buy stuff. You know, I, I worry, I love Rockstar, they've been good to me. I was um, happy to be invited to Rockstar at one point in the past, and I played some GTA Online, GTA 5 Online. So I'm hoping that I can continue maybe to do stuff like that, that would be cool. But if that doesn't happen, that's okay, I'm just happy to play the game. The point is though, the point is, clearly, Rockstar is making a lot of money from the online and I wonder how much they're gonna see that as an opportunity to monetize the fuck out of this game. What I would prefer is that stays to the online stuff and any of the single player stuff just remains a one-time purchase. That would be great. Now, when you're making billions of dollars from an online game, of course you're gonna wanna do that kind of thing again and that's fine, but personally, I'm more invested in, for me, it's all about the city itself and the interactions with people. Red Dead 2 had some amazing, like, things that you could just do, just emergent gameplay, where you just go and throw a rope around someone, bring them to an alligator. Now, they're big gators in this game, and therefore, I think you could probably rope someone and shoot rope, and then also bring them to a gator if you want. So I like that kind of stuff. The stories are always fine. I like them. Uh, I finished Red Dead 2 and 1. Never finished a GTA story. But maybe that could change with this one. So, yeah. Um, it's it's an exciting moment that this is like kind of an, an industry pushing game in a way. This definitely seems 
like it was made by many, 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 many people over a long time, which I think this is another game that's going to last another decade. Because Rockstar doesn't need to do more than just make one GTA every 10 years. But if it's as good as it looks, then that's fine. Um, I'm excited to drive around the city and see what crazy shit happens. Um, we'll see if the sense of humor remains the same, because, um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the world is a different place these days. And sensibilities have changed, and Rockstar had a very crass kind of, um, approach to their satire, I say, whilst watching someone twerk on the roof of a car. But yeah, um... I don't know. I mean, there's there's a lot that they could do with this material, and there's a lot that they could do to piss pretty much everyone off. So who knows where this is gonna be, uh, tone-wise, but... It still looks like, like you get shit like this. <laughs> so, I mean... We'll see. We will see, and I will play it. Um, one other thing I wanted to mention is... Yes, GTA is is a great series. I do like playing it. My favorite game of this recently is the fixed Cyberpunk. So, since GTA 5, the only other game with this level of, like, driving around a city doing crazy shit that I've had uh, the same amount of fun with to a degree is Cyberpunk, because it is a beautiful game. Uh, it, but the world is so much emptier, and it feels artificial. This is gonna be different. This is a game where Rockstar puts so much detail into every little like, de every little corner, and, and people, and the way traffic works, and I'm curious to see what that's all about. Um, I've seen people kind of distill GTA into this, like, crazy simulation of a city, and it's distilled into, um, a dude running around with a gun shooting. And yeah, that's kind of what it is. But more options to do a bunch of other crap would be great. Uh, yeah, so that's my, um, GTA 6 assessment. I'm sorry if I wasn't particularly articulate, or if I didn't contribute very much to what I'm sure will be covered a million times over the next two days. But, you know, it's honest. Uh, game looks cool. I played lots of GTA in the past, and, uh, hoping this is a good one. And I'm sure more more interesting moments will emerge in future trailers and through actual gameplay. Um, but yeah, get ready to deal with meth heads is, is basically my one last closing message. Oh, uh, actually, no, that's not true. I hope it comes to PC the first day it launches and not several years later. I'm not hopeful for that. I have a feeling Sony or whoever, maybe both, Maybe it'll be console exclusive for a couple years. I do have a PS5, I can play it, but, you know, PC version for me is always the, the one that I kind of end up sticking with. So hopefully, it starts, um, it launches on the PC as well. Alright, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll probably end up uh, talking more about this in my streams, and if there's another trailer over the next six or seven months or whatever, I'll watch that and talk about it too. So, there you go. Let's see. We went from 20 million to 22 million views. 22.4, sorry, 22.4 million views, just in the time it took for me to record this video. Absolutely insane. Well, this one's for you, Tom. See you, everyone.